Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today for this Divi tutorial, I have a special hack for you. And this may be something you never even thought was possible or even a thing. I'm gonna show you how to add a Divi layout to the no results page. Now this is not the 404 page. And that's kind of one of those things I had this kind of this big debate with um, one of the support people and it's it's different it's a it's a no results page um, a good example of when this would show up I had a client who um, sells puppies and I made all these different categories for their custom post type right or just you know a regular blog and um, th though I think it was like um, available and adopted and things like that well it just turned out that if you would click on the available page when there's none there you know they're all they've all been gone they've all been marked in a different category not in there well then it would just be this blank page that said you know sorry no results or something so what i did was i just inject a divi layout into there and it's a nice and it's branded and everything so i'm going to show you how to do this it will require a child theme so you can download that from our site if you need one all right let's get started all righty so here we go i already gave the long-winded intro um, but there you can see a screenshot of how this will look or how this would look without this trick. It's just, you know, no results found. The page you requested could not be found. Try finding your search or use the navigation above to locate the post. And that's really lame and really uh, annoying that it does that. You know, we love the theme builder, um, but I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know if there'd be some way that they could uh, integrate the the layout with the theme builder. I mean, make a theme builder template, right, for, for the no results area there. I'm um, not sure how they would do that the best, but anyway, here's the solution. So we need a child theme. If you already have one, that's great. Um, if you don't have one, I'm kind of skip it around here, but if you don't have one, um, we actually have a link here. We have a free one that you can download. Um, and then we'll need to actually add a no-results.php file in the child theme. So whether you have one or don't, we're going to need to do that step. The, the key here is get a child theme installed and then we can move on to the next step. That's that's your task, you know, either have one installed or get one installed. So I guess I should show you the actual site um, here. So anyway, my client here in Pennsylvania, Keystone, where the Keystone State, but anyway, um, they have these puppies, um, golden doodles, labradoodles, you know, those types of things. And so I had this, uh, the portfolio module set up and basically they can click here to different categories um, and they can click on like, like here it's adopted. Now obviously um, the ones that are available are not showing up, but we used to have it where you could click on available puppies as like a category. Like see how here, if I click on adopted, it comes here and this is a, a portfolio set up here on this, you know, in a theme builder template for adopted. Um, but what would happen is we'd, we'd click on available. So right now they're probably all, there's none available. That's why the link isn't there. But normally we had the link in the menu. And so people were clicking on available and they were getting that nasty little no results thing that I showed you here, that little screenshot there, right? So now what happens if someone tries to go there, it says, this is the Divi layout. This, this whole thing that you're seeing right here is what we're going to do today. That's a no results layout that we've added in the, the in the in the Divi library. So this here is it comes up because there's nothing there. So let's just actually walk through that as an example. So over on um, uh, my site here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use it some example site. Basically, you can see that there's um, an uncategorized category and it has one post. That's the default, you know, hello world. So I'm gonna make another one a category. My point is I want a category without any posts in it. Now, I already have a theme builder template set up and, and I guess I should have maybe talked more about that, but that's confusing. So here you can see um, no results found. It, it's coming up and it's ugly. So if I had a blog, you know, I had my um, blog posts and people click on that category and there's nothing there. Well, that's embarrassing. So over here, I'll show you in the that I had that theme builder set up. So basically, it's just all category pages. 
right? Um, and you could do this for other things. I'm just showing you what I was using categories. Actually, it was project categories, but it'll be the same. Any any type of archive page like that. So here I have a dynamic title, the archive post title showing up, and then I have a blog module here, right? So the blog module has the post for current page toggle turned on. That needs to be turned on so that it's dynamic. That's the beauty of the theme builder. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to be using the theme builder. And we have a, a little course on that. If you're interested, you should check that out. But anyway, basically we have a theme builder template. It's dynamic. So any category that I would click on here will show up, but it'll show, automatically show the, the post. So like, let's go back. I'll show you the one. So go up here under posts, categories, and then here under uncategorized, I can click on view. That'll actually take me directly to that category. And here you can see that there's a post showing up. This is how I wanted it to look. And this is my blog module. I could style this however I wanted here, but you know how, how pathetic it looks when it's like no results found. All right, now let's get to the crazy stuff. So we need a child theme installed. And like I said, um, you can download uh, the free one here. So a child theme installs just like any other theme. You go to appearance and then themes and then add new and then you click on upload theme and then you go choose the file on your computer. All right, so I have that uploaded. Now I can activate the free child theme. I'm literally activating the one. Now another thing I want to know, I have a file manager plugin installed. Normally I would say to go to appearance and then to the theme editor, like when you want to add code to your functions.php file or your style.css file, see that. But the thing is we need an actual, another PHP template here for what we're doing. So we can't just come here and say add new, um, I wish we could. So what you can do, you can do this by your cPanel or your file manager with your hosting company. Um, or if you want to do what I'm doing, um, a file manager plugin, just, you can just go to plugins, add new and type in file manager. And there's a bunch of options. So this particular one, WP file manager, I can go here like this and you would do this basically go to your child theme subfolder, you know, in, in WordPress, you wouldn't go to, and if they, if you're new to this, it is kind of. I don't know, intimidating or something. So basically your WordPress files are laid out. You would go to WP content, click into there, and then you would click, you, well, you can click out here to themes. And then inside themes, you would, you know, there's Divi obviously, but you don't want to edit. You don't want to edit Divi because it would get lost in an update. So then here's my free child theme. And then here it is. So what I'm going to do when you're right here, um, however your system works there, but for me in this, in this WP file manager, I'm going to right click and I want to make a new file and I'm going to choose just plain text. All right. All right. And basically I am going to totally rename this and say no dash results dot PHP like that. Okay. So there we go. Now inside my child theme. I have all of these items here and what we need to do now is go from in the tutorial. I have this snippet of code here and I explain it all in written instructions. We want to copy that and go into our, our, uh, no results dot PHP file. And in this program, I can right click and do code editor. There's nothing here, so I can paste that there. Now let's take a look at the code that we're actually using. It's, um, it's, we're basically adding a, we're, we're pulling in a short code into that template. And that short code is, is actually a section. See that? And it says, you know, ETPB section. You're like, hmm, that's, you know, that's a, that's a Divi thing. We're literally pulling in a Divi section to display. Remember over here, this is a Divi section, this whole white area that you're seeing, that's like a, one of the blue, you know, sections from the Divi builder. So for us, it's saying, you know, global underscore module one, two, three, four. Well, that number needs to be replaced. And that's where I should have showed you earlier. I'm not showing you in a, in a very good order. I'm going to save this. 
we need to have our section because you know we need to have one actually built. So you can go to the Divi library and, and add a new one there. If you were happen to be on some page or post somewhere, you know, you could actually um, make a section and, and save the library. But for me, I'm going to click on I'm in the Divi library and then layouts, add new. So for me, I, I can choose this drop down here and I want section, you want section two. We're going to, we're going to call it, we're going to name it no results section, right? And then just hit submit. Basically that brings up like the Divi builder. So anyway, so here is where I would design my actual section. So I'm going to just play around, do a couple little things here. So you get the idea, but nothing fancy. So obviously it starts with the blue section and then it adds the row, of course. And then inside here, we can choose the number of columns and I'll, I'll add text. Um, and then I'm just, I'm not going to do anything fancy here. This, this tutorial is long enough, but actually I don't think when you're in the back end, it adds placeholder text, does it? We'll add placeholder text. That's going to be as boring as the no results, isn't it? I'll add a button. Um, and then, you know, click here, whatever. Maybe I'll go ahead and make this section have um, a nice green background. And then I'm going to click update. All right. And so now that's updated. Now the key here is to get the ID of this section. And you can see it up here in the top. Look for where, you know, it says your domain name. And you're going to see some kind of, you know, crazy stuff here. But here it's saying post equals and then the number. And in my case, it just happens to be 70. It's just 70. You could copy it depending, yours might be three, four or five numbers long, depending how many other layouts you had. But in, in my case, it's just this 70 right there. That's the ID of this layout right here that you're seeing, okay? And I could have built this on the front end, by the way, I was just showing you. What I want to do now is get back to that file manager. Basically, I want to go back to the no results.php file. And I should have done this in opposite order. I apologize. So, you know, right clicking here in code editor. So I know that in, in my case, the one, two, three, four obviously is a placeholder. I know that I want 70. So I am going to save that. And again, it's only that one line of code in there. And we're done. Now, let's go test this thing out. Let's see if this works. So I need to edit what I just said. We need to have this no results.php file inside a folder. So now I need to make a folder here, say new folder, and this has to say includes. Okay, includes. It's just small case, just includes. Now this file needs to be inside there. So in my case, I'm gonna drag it inside there much better sorry for misleading you there this whole time uh, now i need to edit my video but um in inside the includes is just the no result.php now we're good so i'll go back here this was my category in the theme builder but a category with a blog post there's no blog post in this category let's refresh the page all right so there you go i actually added a couple extra things there when you weren't looking but I added the red background in the section, uh, the green background in the row, and the border in the row, uh, the button, and some text, right? So this is just a horrible example to show you what's possible. Um, you, could, you could say, you know, um, hey, it looks like we don't have any posts in this category right now, and then have a button that links to like the main blog page. You know what I mean? Just something simple. I mean, you could add photos, you could do whatever you want here. That's totally up to you. I'm just giving you, I guess, the idea that I had in my mind, and maybe you can expand on this and think of different ways to use this. Um, and be sure to let us know in the comments if you think of, of a clever way to use this. All right, so there you go. Hope that wasn't too complicated to follow along. Hope you can put this to good use. And again, you know, um, it's 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 one of those things where you don't think you need it, but it's kind of nice to have. So I enjoy having that there. 
So especially for that client where I knew that they were going to be moving, you know, the items out of that category. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video.